What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you a crazy tool that allows you to face swap or deep fake in literally just one click. That's all it takes. You need one image and a video to stick that face on. It's crazy. AI has come a huge way and face swapping is even easier now than ever. I'll be showing you a tool called Roop as well as how to use it. And once again, I've created a super useful one line installer so you can get up and running without the need of worrying about Python, etc. The project in question is called Roop from Subdev. You'll find a link to this GitHub repo in the description down below. And the results are actually quite crazy crazy, albeit a little bit lower resolution, they're still pretty crazy to be honest. It uses your graphics card for acceleration, and the setup is super simple. If you're going to be installing this yourself with Atma OneLine Installer, you'll need FFmpeg installed, and you can follow the basic steps here, as well as the GPU steps, based on what you want. The OneLine Installer does it all. Once again, these OneLine Installers do take quite a bit of time to create, so if you find them useful, do click the thanks or join button down below. They're also open source, so you can help contribute to them as well if you'd like. Without further ado, on Windows 11, open up Terminal as Admin. If you're on Windows 10, open Terminal as Admin, otherwise PowerShell. And if you don't see PowerShell listed somewhere on the page, click the drop down and choose Windows PowerShell. Now that we're all in the same place, simply type in IEX space and inside of brackets irmroop.tc.ht and close brackets. This will go ahead and open up the Roop one line installer that I created. When it fires up, it'll start by asking you where you'd like to install install it. If you haven't used my one line installers before, you'll need to enter a path, otherwise confirm it. For me, I'll just leave it as the default, so I'll hit enter. It'll go ahead and install Chocolatey, then Git, and finally Aria 2C. Chocolatey is the package manager to easily install other programs. Git is so we can download and keep the repo up to date. And finally, Aria 2 is for faster model downloads, which we'll get to later. Then if you have Anaconda, Miniconda, or Anyconda installed to manage your Python installations, you'll get a pop-up like this, I'd highly recommend choosing yes. Otherwise, if you have default Python, this should still work otherwise. I'll hit enter. If you're running multiple AI projects, I'd highly recommend installing Miniconda. There we go. So it's going ahead and setting up the environment. Then it's cloning the project from GitHub. And shortly after it's done, it should go ahead and download the required model, which is around 500 megs. Then when this is done, it'll go ahead and install the required packages, etc. This could take a bit of time, especially if you haven't installed PyTorch before, it's around a 2 gig download. While this is downloading, you can open up a file browser, navigate to this PC, C drive, and if you're installing it to the default location, it should be TCHT. Then inside of here, Roop. This is where everything's downloading. You'll see more files populate this in a moment, and we don't even need to navigate here manually as you get an option for creating desktop shortcuts later on. There we go. So I'll choose to create desktop shortcuts. Then I'll get shortcuts on my desktop for Roop so we can launch it up later on whenever we want here. Now it'll go ahead and launch the actual program and in just a moment you'll see a new window pop up. This is Roop and what we'll be interacting with. We have three options at the very bottom. It's super basic. All we need to do is select a face by clicking here and we'll select an image of a face. So in this folder here, I have a few pictures of Emma Watson, for example. I can choose a picture here. Don't worry if it's not square, it'll look a bit squished, but that's fine. Then select a target. All we need to do is choose a video. It can be any format that FFmpeg supports. This is just a random stock video. After we click start, it'll go ahead and ask us where we want to save it. I'll give it the name output one. And shortly after, it should start splitting the video up into individual frames and swapping out the face that it finds. If you have this option, take it'll swap out all of the faces that it finds. Now, while it may not look like much is happening, you'll eventually get a progress bar and you can monitor things even closer from your task manager. Heading across to the performance tab, you can see exactly what your GPU is doing here, memory and CPU. This process does take quite a bit of all of them. It's using 15 gigabytes of RAM right now and using around 27% of my CPU. Depending on the speed of your PC, things will vary drastically. I'm getting around eight or nine frames a second here, on a 3080Ti and an Intel i9-13900K. Obviously, this setup is overkill, but it's definitely working. Eventually, when it's done, you can go ahead and have a look at the folder here. There'll be a folder inside of it with all of the separate frames, and those will be deleted when the video is done processing. Once again, you can keep them here if you'd like. Now, we should have an input video, which for me was this one here. It's a person messing around with a file, and an output video here that we've just created, and this one has Emma Watson's face, albeit a little bit low. 
low resolution. Now, obviously this may not be too crazy, but it's done something, especially if you upload the video to Twitter or something, it may be possible for whatever you're trying. However, having a look at one of the model downloads, for example, we have this Civit AI post here, and this is absolutely crazy. The fact that they took Henry Cavill and stuck this invisible person onto them, it's crazy. So I Googled for video of Henry Cavill and came across their IMDb page, simply downloaded the video, and we'll be swapping in the Invisible Man into this video. I also grabbed a picture of the Invisible Man, John Cena, and all we'll do is simply select the face, which is our image, and the target, which was our video here, and we'll let it run. Now, as this video was quite a bit larger and longer, it did take a little bit more time to process, and the output file size is a little bit bigger, around about three times. But if we have a look at the output video, things are crazy to say the least. So already you can see it's nobody sitting on a horse here, skipping forwards. It's a little bit shaky when things get close up, but you can definitely tell what it's supposed to be. Also further away it tries, but it's not always the best. Having a look further on, the results are actually pretty crazy to be honest. Now obviously if you pick not to include multiple people, it'll only try one face and that's it. In this case, I think it's trying in the background here. Oh, and obviously it don't take anyone's faces, which may result in things that you're not expecting. Anyways, you get the point. It's super easy to use. The results aren't incredible, but it's really quick to set up and get straight into, especially if you're going to be sharing videos on Twitter, for example, where they're compressed and the original quality is gone. You just need the general likeness of a video. And that's that. It's probably one of the fastest ways to get a deep fake done on your own PC without having to pay for anything other than the hardware that you're using it on. It's completely free and open source, which is great. AI is making huge bounds and leaps. If you'd like to see any other online installers, please do let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this useful, do click thanks or join. My name has been Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.